safety equipment appropriate ppe like solid front gowns must be worn and respirators might be required all work with microbes must be performed within an appropriate biosafety cabinet of class 2b facility construction a hands free sink and an eye wash station must be available near the exit the exhaust hair must not be recirculated within the lab and must be released to the outside after passing through a hipa filter the laboratory must have sustained unidirectional air flow by drawing air into the laboratory from the clean areas towards potentially contaminated areas by negative pressure the entrance to the laboratory is through two sets of self closing and locking doors this image shows the work being done in a biosafety cabinet probably class 2b with appropriate ppe like a solid front gown gloves respirator and a face shield being worn biosafety level 4 the microbes in a biosafety level 4 laboratory are dangerous and exotic posing a high risk of aerosol transmitted infections infections caused by these microbes are frequently fatal and without treatment or vaccines two examples of microbes worked within a biosafety level 4 laboratory include ebola and marburg viruses laboratory practices change of clothing before entering the laboratory and shower upon exiting the laboratory all materials are to be decontaminated before exiting the laboratory safety equipment all work with the microbe must be performed either within an appropriate class 3 biosafety cabinet or by wearing a full body air supplied positive pressure suit facility construction the laboratory is in a separate building or in an isolated or restricted zone of the building the laboratory has dedicated supply and exhaust air as well as vacuum lines and decontamination systems this image shows the work being done in a biosafety cabinet but not class 3 however the personnel are wearing a full body air supplied positive pressure suit while working in the laboratory please note that no part of the body is exposed to the laboratory environment Let us quickly revise through the different biosafety levels and their requirements. Biosafety level one requires open bench work, PPE as per need, and good microbiological techniques. Biosafety level two requires access limited to laboratory personnel, PPE like lab coat and gloves. specimen handling in a class 2a biosafety cabinet autoclave for sterilization of waste and material for disposal stored and handled carefully biosafety level 3 requires specimen handling strictly in class 2b biosafety cabinet situation of the laboratory away from general circulation with a separate biohazard sign at entry air flow monitored and exhausted via hipa filter and should have its own equipment biosafety level 
requires a sophisticated control of air movement and filtration, double-ended autoclave, the cabinet type of laboratory wherein the manipulation of agents must be performed in a sealed class 3 biosafety cabinet or the suit type of laboratory where the personnel may wear a positive pressure supplied air protective suit. The correlation between the risk group of microorganisms and the different biosafety levels in terms of laboratory type, practices and safety equipment. For risk group 1 organisms, a biosafety level 1 laboratory is needed, which could be a basic teaching and research facility where good microbiological techniques are practiced and only an open bench is required for work. For risk group 2 organisms, a biosafety level 2 laboratory is needed, which is the level of primary health and diagnostic service laboratories where good microbiological techniques are practiced along with protective clothing and biohazard services and the work is done both on the open bench and within the biosafety cabinet particularly for handling specimens and for activities which generate aerosols. For risk group 3 organisms, a biosafety level 3 laboratory is needed for special diagnostic services and research. The laboratory practices will be the same as level 2 with additional special clothing, controlled access, and directional airflow. All the work must be done within a biosafety cabinet of class 2B. For risk group 4 organisms, a biosafety level 4 laboratory is needed, which are dangerous pathogen units. The laboratory practices will be the same as level 3 with additional airlock entry, shower exit and special waste disposal. All the work must be done in class 3 biosafety cabinet or positive pressure suits in conjunction with class 2 biosafety cabinets with double-ended autoclave and filtered air. Quiz to recap everything that has been discussed so far. Identify the biosafety level shown in the image. Take note of the presence of the biosafety cabinet and the type of personal protective equipment worn for work. This photograph suggests a biosafety level 3 laboratory. The laboratorian is working within a biosafety cabinet and is wearing a powered air purifying respirator, gloves and a solid front gown. Do not let the respirator confuse you into thinking this is a biosafety level 4 laboratory. Note how the worker is not fully covered by the suit and parts of his neck and ears are exposed. Identify the biosafety level from the given description. A microbiology graduate student is working on a project under the following conditions. Work is conducted on a standard laboratory table or bench a non-pathogenic laboratory stain of E. coli is being used. Minimal PPE such as lab coat, gloves and eye protection might be worn but are not necessary.
This example suggests a biosafety level 1 laboratory where there is minimal risk of infection. A non-pathogenic strain of E. coli is being used and the work is conducted on a standard laboratory bench. Special PPE and facility construction are not necessary. Identify the biosafety level depicted in the image. This image suggests a biosafety level 4 laboratory. The scientist is working within a biosafety cabinet. She is wearing a full body air supplied positive pressure protective suit. Identify the biosafety level from the given description. A microbiology laboratory technologist is working under the following conditions. Work is conducted on a standard laboratory bench in a contained area. Pathogenic strain of Staphylococcus aureus is being handled. PPE including a laboratory coat, gloves and eye protection are being used to reduce accidental infection. So, this scenario suggests a biosafety level 2 laboratory. The laboratorian is working with a pathogenic strain of Staphylococcus, which poses moderate risk of infection. The work is conducted on a standard laboratory bench within a contained area, and the laboratorian is wearing appropriate PPE to reduce the risk of accidental infection. With this, we come to the end of this session. Thank you.